In the heart of the north, where the arctic winds howl and the northern lights dance, the story of the Yule takes root. Born from the imagination of a people as rugged and enchanting as the land they inhabit, the Yule lads are a treasured part of Icelandic folklore. In the biting chill of winter, these mischievous figures come out to play. Born of the mountains and the frigid winds, the Yule lads, all 13 of them, are the mischievous progeny of Grilla a fearsome ogress who calls the Icelandic peaks her home. The lads, like their mother, are known for their tricks and pranks, their laughter echoing through the icy valleys. Every year these 13 Yule lads venture out from their mountain home one night at a time for 13 nights to play their pranks and spread their cheers. Their antics are a reflection of Grilla's own mischievous nature making the Yule lads a treasured, albeit cheeky, part of Icelandic folklore. The first of these notorious figures is Stekjasta, or Sheepcoat Clod. This limping lad has a penchant for harassing sheep. His antics may be frustrating for the farmers, but they add a dash of humor to the frosty Icelandic evenings. Next comes Giljagar, the gully gawk. He hides in gullies, waiting for the opportune moment to sneak into the cowshed and steal some milk. His cunning is matched only by his insatiable thirst for the creamy liquid. Stufa, or Stubby, is the third Yule lad. Shorter than his brothers, he compensates by being incredibly agile. His favorite pastime, snatching pans to eat the crust left behind. The fourth Yule lad, Tvoroslikir, or Spoon Licker, has a strange addiction. He pilfers wooden spoons, known as Tvoror, to lick. Thin as a rail due to malnutrition, his story serves as a stark reminder of the harsh Icelandic winters. Potaskafil, the pot scraper, is the fifth Yule lad. Always on the hunt for leftovers, he steals potter or pots to scrape and eat whatever remains. Next in line is Askaslakir or bowl licker. This lad hides under beds waiting for someone to put down their askur, a type of bowl with a lid used in old times which he then steals. The seventh Yule lad, heard a skeller or door slammer, loves to make noise. He slams doors, especially during the night, causing a ruckus and disturbing people's sleep. Skirgamur, the skier gobbler, is the eighth Yule lad. He has an insatiable appetite for skier, a type of Icelandic yogurt. Bjugna Krikir, the sausage swiper, is the ninth Yule lad. He hides in the rafters and snatches sausages that are being smoked. The tenth Yule lad, Glugagigir, or window peeper, is a voyeur who looks through windows in search of things to steal. Katathafa, the doorway sniffer, uses his abnormally large nose to locate laufabrod, leaf bread. Ketkroker, the meat hook, ventures into houses on the twelfth night. He uses a hook to steal meat, depriving the occupants of their next winter meal. On the thirteenth night, Katasnikir, the candle stealer, follows children to steal their candles. In the olden days, the candles were made of tallow and thus edible. These Yule lads, though rooted in old traditions, have evolved with time, becoming less fearsome and more mischievous, reflecting the changing face of Icelandic culture. They serve as a delightful reminder of the magic of winter and the joy of folklore. If you'd like to bring the Yule lads home this Christmas, check out our Yule Lads book on Amazon. Link in the description below. If you've enjoyed this journey through the snowy landscapes of Icelandic folklore, remember to give a thumbs up and share the magic with others. And if you want to keep exploring the enchanting world of myths and legends, be sure to subscribe and join us on the next adventure. Until then, keep the Yule Lad spirit alive and let their stories warm your chilly winter nights.